Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. So today I'm doing an assembly tutorial for the 3D handbag purse die set designed by Nicole Silhouette. This was a request from Louisa. So we have our die pieces here and this piece here cuts out the front and the back of the purse handbag. We need two of those. This is the top, so we just need one of those. This is the base of the handbag, so we just need one of those. And this piece here is the, for the two sides of the handbag. And typically when you have a piece like this that has notches cut out on each side, it is to help bend that piece into shape around another piece of paper. So I'll get the front of the handbag. And we're going to be fo following along that curve and that's why this piece has the notches. It helps assist with getting the right shape. So we need two of those. This is the part that holds the strap. We need four of those and I've cut those from this nice shimmery pink paper. We need two decorator panels for the front and back of the bag. This is for the top. We need one each of those. And this is the side pieces decorator panel. You'll just need two of those. The word stylish comes in the die set as well, but we won't be using that. So I've got my pieces here that make the body of the handbag and I'm folding along the score lines of all the pieces one way and the other. These two side pieces here I'm just folding and training the notches because they're going to help with curving around the edge of the bag and with this piece too on each end is different. There's an end that's got curved edges and an end that's got angled edges. You only want to fold the end that has the angled edges and leave the other end alone. So I'll show you again on this one. So we're just folding the notches and just the end there you can see the angled in edges we're only folding that one and you don't fold the other end at all we actually end up covering that with the part that holds the strap so i'm just finishing up here burnishing and folding all of the folds and for this project i'm using glue and i'm using gina k connect glue uh, instead of tape glue is a little bit easier when you are gluing these curved pieces together so I'm just joining those, the base to one of the sides, matching them up and I'll line them up and make sure they're lined up correctly. So take your time. I'm just putting the other side on, taking care to line it up correctly and pressing it into place. And I do turn it over and give it a, a rub with my bone folder. So now it's time to train these end pieces where the notches are because this is the part that will be curved and if you can give it a little bit of training before you start gluing it together it does help. I'm even curving the other the top piece there just away because that's the shape of the handbag. So if you can gently give it some shape without causing any creases that will help. So I'm happy with the shape I've got there and it's now time to start gluing on the front and the back. So I'm applying glue to that tab of that middle section there and I'm lining up the bottom of the handbag and I'm lining using the notches as a guide to get placement even. So you can see there I've got that overhanging the same amount on each side of the notches and I'm just burnishing the glue and turning it around and doing the other side. Just putting glue along that tab getting the handbag piece and I'm just lining it up with the notches they both overhang the same each side and that way I know that it's central I'm just giving it a rub from the other side with my bone folder now it's time to start gluing this together now I have sped this up quite a lot because it does take me a little while to get all this glued down nicely so I'm just applying glue to a few of the tabs there because you don't want to glue them all together otherwise you'll just end up in a mess so just gl put glue on a few at a time and I've got you can see I've got my other hand my left hand in there underneath holding with my right hand and I've even flipped it over and pressing down on my work surface into that curved shape now I will tell you that when you are gluing something like this that's curved and it has notches and you're having to bend the the card around a certain shape it is sometimes very tricky and it's what I consider to be an intermediate to an advanced paper crafting technique so it does take a little bit of time and patience to finagle the paper to the shape that it has to be so you just take your time just do a section at a time 
Don't try and glue all the, the notches down at once, otherwise you'll end up in a big gluey mess and get frustrated. And this pop possibly could pop apart as you're doing it. Don't worry, just keep with it. Just keep putting the glue there and eventually it will grab because we are bending the paper around and it takes a little while for it to get to know that that's what it's got to do. Especially curved shapes, they are tricky. But that's what the notches are there for and when you train the paper, that's what all helps. And if you just take your time when you're gluing, put your hand in from the other side if you can and push it down from your work surface as well. That also helps. And it also depends on the type of glue you use as well. You'll notice that I'm using Gina K Connect glue this time instead of the Tombow. I find the Tombow is too sticky on my fingers. And with the stickiness on my fingers, I do find that hard to work with because I generally get glue everywhere. And the Gina K Connect glue is not sticky like that on your fingers afterwards. So I have a combination of glues when I'm doing different paper crafting projects. So you do what works for you. especially when you're sticking these pieces down, these trickier curved pieces. Do a combination of holding it from both sides with both hands, pushing it down onto your work surface, whatever works for you. And I just find a combination of everything works for me. I get there in the end. So I'm just sticking that last Bit down for that side and then we can move on to the other side. Just trying to get it the best I can and I don't realize how much of this fluffing around because that's what I call it fluffing that I actually do when I'm making things until I go back in and do my editing and my voiceover and then I see I do it a lot but that's just me. So I'm now just getting the tabs ready on the other side and this other side is a little bit easier because it's already in the shape it needs to be from the other side. So I've just got my hand in there from the other side. Just getting that first bit glued and as you can see it popped apart then so I've put it back down onto my work surface and I'm pushing down from above which is better. It seems to get a better grab that way. And as I said before, do what works for you. If you need to do a mixture of putting it down onto your workplace to press it into place or if it works better holding it in your hands, one inside the box, one outside the box, pressing against each other, do whatever works for you. At the end of the day you're the one making the project and you've got to do what works for you. Finally we're on to our last side here that we have to glue down. I'm just applying glue to a few tabs at a time. And I'm turning it over onto my work surface and pressing down as that seems to be working better. This is where I get impatient and just put glue all the way the rest because <laughs> I get impatient too. So those tabs on the other side there, don't worry about those, I'll tuck them back in, put some more glue on them because the glue will have dried. And we're just popping that into place. And that's the base of the handbag, pretty well done. That's the hardest bit done. And it's just on to the rest. So I've got here the top of the handbag that incorporates the closure. And I'm going to put glue along that top tab. And initially I was going to attach it from the bottom, but I decided to attach it on the other side, facing up so that you can see. So I'm just taking care to line it up and press it into place and flip it over and press the glue down and burnish it as well and that folds over and later on we'll put a magnetic closure on there so moving on to the decorator panels and I have them here so I'm just tucking that edge in there so it's out of the way so I'm going to put glue on all the decorator panels now what you could do here is you could use a double-sided tape on the back of the cardstock prior to cutting out these decorator panels or you could use that sticker adhesive that's available in the large sheets because that would make it easier it would be like a sticker and that's what I did with my black handbag when I cut it out of that leather pebble look paper 
I put that on the back of it. Just made it a lot easier to stick down a bit quicker. But some of you may not have that, so this is the other alternative, is just glue it down. So I'm just gluing all the decorator panel pieces into place. Now you don't have to use these particular ones if you don't want to. You could just cut the panel, the handbag pieces out and trim about an eighth of an inch off around and that would leave a nice border if you wanted a different look to your handbag. I might try that next. And these little handbags I think would make great party favour bags for a young girl like a tween. If she was having a party she could put her little sweets and treats in there for her party guests to take home. That would be a really nifty little idea. Or they could even be party favours for a hen's night. For a girl's night out, decorated in a different way. And of course you would have different type of treats in those bags. So moving on to these pieces here that hold onto the strap, there are four of them, but we'll just work with two at a time. And I'm placing glue on both pieces at once. This makes it easier for gluing. And I'm going to position it onto the end of the handbag there. And the second piece goes in from the inside, directly behind, sandwiching the end piece of the bag between. And I'm pressing it into place, making sure the glue has got a good grab. And I'll show you again with the remaining two pieces. So just putting glue on both pieces. And that cut out there, the bottom edge of it, that gets lined up with the top edge of the side of the handbag, which I'll show here. That's what I'm indicating. And that's perfect placement for that strap holder. And the other piece gets glued from behind on the inside and we're just pressing that into place. And that's that part of the handbag done. So I went ahead and I put a magnetic closure on my front of my handbag there. And then I also went ahead and finished off my handbag. So you can see I've put a handle made from the same cardstock that I made the base pieces of the bag. And I put pearls in the center pieces of those decorator panels. Yes, I did stick all those pearls down one by one. And I have a brad on the front there. And you could fit a lot in there, that's a decent sized bag. The glue's not quite dry on my brad. So that's our handbag finished and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links to where you can buy the die set. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, bye for now.